Are you ready to go pick up your father at the airport? Huh? You wanna go get your father at the airport? You wanna... <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another video. Um, I guess today is probably going to be more like a uh, spend the day with me or a day in my life type of deal. I don't really know. But what I do need to do is wash my face and brush my teeth. And we are going to pick Cody up from the airport. Ooh, 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 ooh. Cue the face washing montage, I guess. <laughs> Staring out the window, reaching for a North Star, waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms, dancing to the limbo, stuck here in the middle. You tell me that it's simple, but I could paint a thousand different pictures of what is wrong. So now I have my Mothman sweatshirt on and it's time to go to the airport. So we don't know where we're going to eat, huh? No. <laughs> I've got some ideas. Oh, what do you want to eat? Probably what do you want? Look at you and your little harness and blanket. Look at that. Car seat you're in. Get that camera out of my face. Look at that little car seat. <laughs> you didn't even see all the blanket. Look at that little car seat in there. One more, okay? I got the Cobb salad with grilled chicken on the side for puppy and then no bacon. This is what she looks like. I got the spicy chicken deluxe sandwich. <laughs> and this is what she looks like. I feel like uh, right. Trisha Paytas and Moses. Oh God. This is Malibu Barbie. <laughs> oh, it scared me. I felt something wet going through my pants, but I think it's just... You need to cut that out. <laughs> they had what? What? Come I felt on. something wet going through my pants. Oh. <laughs> well, I thought the... Uh... Ranch spilled. Yeah, I thought it squirted out. Chew. Yeah, good. Chew. Yummy. Ooh, yummy. Oh, I should have asked for Zaxby sauce. Damn it. Oh, I'm sorry. You want some of my ranch or something? Nah, it's okay. Mm, got some towel. I'm hot. Are you hot? Yoink. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> a little bit. I was trying to think of like world news. I'm telling you about <laughs> world news, i.e., what I watch on Deaf Noodles. <laughs> Now I put my ranch in this, and what would be ideal is to close this up and shake it up. Oh no! It's just a couple of pieces of lettuce, it's no big deal. <laughs> I guess I'm filming a day in my life video or something, I don't know. <laughs> This is what we day do. Day in my day. life or spend the day with me, something. Can't do scary videos every video. Gotta change it up. Please go check out my backroom video. I worked really hard on it. And also, I shed a lot of tears on it too, so. There's nothing quite like getting a duo call at late at night with her in tears saying, Everything's gone. <laughs> it's all ruined. All my hard work for the, over the last three days. <laughs> that was a good one. Something happened where I thought that I had to completely start over after I finished the video. So that's all. <laughs> I fixed it. You know how to. <clears throat> yeah, Cody told me how to fix it. So it all worked out in the end. But please go check it out. <laughs> like it. Comment. You know, all that. Also. Dad is thinking about starting a YouTube channel. Uh oh. <laughs> well, I was going to say, he may be watching all my videos. I don't know. But I was going to say, if Dad's watching this, <laughs> he's thinking so, about starting a YouTube channel 
called Moonshine and Monsters. Uh oh. And then he would sit and drink moonshine and talk about oh god all the monsters yeah. like because my dad is obsessed with bigfoot mothman Loch Ness, like aliens you know all that stuff so it's like drunk history but for monsters yeah <laughs> that's what it would be but then mom was like i don't think you should be drinking moonshine because your blood pressure and everything <laughs> so he said maybe it would just be water <laughs> just say it's moonshine so i'll let you all know if my dad starts a channel you can go follow Already him exposed to me, not even started it <laughs> well if you're interested in that stuff, my dad may be starting a channel talking about it, so. I will say you boys out of water and it was spicy, so. Oh, drink mine. I haven't even drunk any of it. <clears throat> Don't mind if I do. <sighs> Let's roll on home. Yeah, more water. My love, if you want more. Oh, were you done? Yeah, onto the house. <laughs> now, I thought I would show you all some hairstyles that I do, because I know that Beauty Phoenix in particular, has asked for some of my hairstyles, so I thought it would be fun to throw that in here. And now these are hairstyles that I do all the time because I think that they're super easy um, and they also look like you put like more effort in than you actually did. So that's always what I like. So the first thing, the first hairstyle, you need one hair clip. And this one came from Romley, it came in a pack. Uh, but all I do, this is like my hairstyle for literally every day. It's just, I think it's super simple, super easy. I also think it helps with my hair a lot because used to, I would put my hair in like a ponytail with in, did I say tail weird? In a ponytail with a ponytail holder. And I think that probably wasn't super great for my hair. I mean, obviously I still use these sometimes, but you know, whatever. Majority of the time using these claw clips have really helped my hair, I think. This first hairstyle, you just need the one clip. And this is all I do is, well, my bangs are kind of like not really fully, they're not done, you know, how they normally are. Uh, but just take my hair. Now let me see, I'll turn around for you all. All right, so all I do is take my hair, like a, in a ponytail, you see, like this. And then I twist her up. I normally do it like twist it a few times like this, you see? And then I place my claw clip right here. I think the higher, the cuter it looks. Um, and then I just kind of fan out my little tufted part. And pretty much that's it. <laughs> but in the front, which you can kind of adjust her however you want, but then I like to pull out my bangs and some front pieces and things. It's super easy, but I also think it looks better than like throwing it in a bun or something like that, you know, cause it looks like you did a little bit more, had a little bit more effort into it. So. Now, the next hairstyle is just that, only I am going to do it in little pigtails. So I'm just gonna part my hair down the middle as best I can. I don't really care. Honestly, I like messy hair, so like the messier the better. I don't really care about having straight, um, like straight parts and lines and all that stuff. I don't really care. So, <clears throat> part down the middle as best you can, or if you wanna fully do it straight, whatever you want. Okay, so now you need two clips, which I can't find my pink one. Uh, that kind of matches this one a little bit better, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Now, all I'm gonna do is the same exact thing that I did with the one little ponytail. I'm just gonna twist it like this. Now I'm gonna take my claw clip and put it right there. <laughs> I don't know if that's cute or not, but uh, I think it is. So then we'll do the other side here. Do little twisties, put it up, then we take the clip and then we put it here, and then let the rest of it fall. <laughs> like, I mean, you can obviously like just fool around with it, however. You just have two kind of like little piggy tails of sorts. And honestly, I do this one more often whenever I have like curly hair and I just want my hair to look like cute. Um, really fast because like when I have my hair curly like my natural state I really don't like fooling with it too much so the straight is kind of giving it like a little bit of a different vibe than my curly hair is giving it but you know you get the gist it's just like a cute way to just do something a little different now this last way the same thing part down the middle and then I take two little hair ties hair whatever 
I normally do this one whenever my hair is curly when I don't feel like falling with my bangs so all you do is take one half of your hair like this okay and then you're just gonna twist your bangs up into itself and like as you're twisting you're just like pulling more hair just twisting 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 until you've come to something like that okay and then you take your hair tie and I just take it and I make a bun out of it now you can do whatever like bun you normally do but I pass through once twist it and then on the second time no actually this one's okay do that again so then on this third twist or third time passing through I only go halfway like that and then twist it pull it <laughs> bop it and then pull it through again and just like kind of tighten it so it's just kind of like this loose little bun like I said it things look different whenever my hair is straight versus curly like hairstyles look different then we're just gonna do the other side just twisting twisting this is just kind of like a faux uh, French braid pretty much that goes into little buns take our hair tie and we like turn around and we twist twist this last time we're going to pull through halfway and then twist and grab it and pull it and then we're just going to kind of tighten it so there we go that's pretty much it and then like i said you can always just kind of fool around and see like tuck in pieces or whatever you want like i said it's kind of different uh, with straight hair versus my curly hair but this is pretty much it this is just a really good way for me to like kind of like make it to where I don't have to worry about my bangs being in my way or having to straighten them and fix them you know is one arm tanner than the other or is that just like the shadow it's probably tanner than the other one <laughs> I had self tanner on earlier but it will anyway so those are my hairstyles I hope you all enjoyed them uh, I think they're super cute fun easy and look like you put more effort in than you actually did which is always a plus for me and yeah let me know down in the comments if you try any of them out and how you like them and also like if you have any cute little hairstyles that you all like to do okay i literally got this tangled up in my hair how how did how does that what in the world has happened here like that doesn't even look like physically possible that one came out super easy one piece, piece. okay well then that one came out easy peasy never mind <laughs> I desperately need dry shampoo, but Kroger Clicklist didn't give it to me. They said they were out, but honestly, I think they're lying. I think they just didn't feel like going all the way to the sundry department or something. Well, now it's almost 3.30 and I don't know what to do because a part of me wants to go outside in my little hammock and like read my book or play on my Switch or something like that. And then the other part of me doesn't want to go out there because I'm kind of scared. I also have to put my hammock like out in the yard instead of just on our deck because we have such a wasp issue <laughs> that I can't go out on the deck without a wasp or like one of those giant bumblebees like literally like getting in my face and trying to sting me. So it's an awful lot of work to take my hammock all the way outside into the yard and then there was buzzards like flying above me like big ones. They're still out there. They're out there all the time. I don't know what the heck, but they got like really close to me and I don't know why. Uh, they were flying very, very close and I got very uncomfortable. So uh, I don't know. I really want to go outside though. Cause it's just such a pretty day. You ever just have like the, you just have the craving of fresh air and like the sun beating on you. That's how I feel right now. But I'm scared of buzzards and wasps. A few moments later. All right, I think I figured out what I'm gonna do and what it is, let's get better lighting, <laughs> what it is that I'm going to do because I can't take my hammock outside because I'm scared of wasps and buzzards. Mainly I'm scared of the buzzards because I wanted to take puppy out there but I would just literally like, <laughs> if anything happened to him. So I've decided that I am going to set my hammock up in the living room. <laughs> Why I'm doing this, I don't know. One, I'm bored and nothing really sounds very fun to me right now uh, and I don't want to work. So <laughs> I wanted something new, something kind of fun, something kind of exciting. So 
puppy and I can lay in the hammock in the living room and watch TV and cuddle. That's what I'm going to do. see I have turned this into something it didn't really need to be um, so I had the thought to put the hammock in the living room okay then Cody was like you need a pina colada we need sand you know all that cool stuff so it seems very beachy for me inside the house and then I thought you know we can't make pina coladas because I don't have the mix for it but I do have this basket <laughs> and we could have a lovely little picnic in the living room. So that's what this is for. Beautiful. My parents got me this. This is Longa Burger, if you care. And we are gonna fill her up <laughs> with treats and snacks and just have a blast on the hammock. Now, I will say, I am putting in this one for aesthetic, two, because I have to keep my snacks hidden or else Puppy will be all over them and very upset about it. So I kind of need like a container of sorts to just like hold my snacks. Anyway, this was very dirty. I just had to clean her. <laughs> so the first thing we are going to pack is our wine glass with our ice in it. Now, of course, she is going to be paired with our ice sparkling water. This is orange mango. Extremely delicious. We're going to set her. Well, you know what? I don't know. I don't know what the best. I mean, I'm just packing her to the living room, so I don't know why I'm caring so much. Now, this next thing is uh, an amazing thing. It's my mom's deviled eggs that she brought me yesterday. <laughs> they are so delicious. Cody hates them. He hates deviled eggs. Not my mom's in particular. He just hates them in general. Uh, but I love them. So we're packing them. I'm definitely going to be eating those like first. We're going to slide them in right there. Perfect. Okay, <laughs> now our next thing is that we will pack these gummy peaches that I have that are already open. Okay, wait, the date threw me off. I thought they were like super out of date, but they're not. Uh, and then I'm just gonna slide that in right there. That's what she said. Now we are also gonna add our jelly beans, Cold Stone flavored. <laughs> just slip those right in. Okay. The last thing we're putting in is our sweet and salty Boom Chicka Pop popcorn. Yes, very delicious. And there we have it. It's our picnic basket. Oh my gosh, that's like actually so cute. Okay, I'm super excited. Now we have to take this to the living room and have our little picnic. Okay, so as you all can see, one, the hammock is here. And I have the heating pad and a blanket on it. It has this makeshift pillow already right there for me and puppy. Now we have our picnic basket with all of our goodies. I have my phone and my switch and some books. <laughs> the controller and things so I can watch TV. And also we have our maple syrup and pancakes candle going. So, you know, all in all, I'm living my best life. <laughs> next day <laughs> um, I didn't film the rest of my evening yesterday because I laid in my hammock all all evening all night and then I went to bed <laughs> so it wasn't very entertaining uh, but <laughs> now that it's the next morning I guess I will do my outro <laughs> for you all the title of this video is probably something along the lines an unproductive day in my life or something like that because uh, I didn't really do anything that I normally do but it was also still like a spend the day with me uh, <laughs> but at least we had a mukbang we had or mukbang I don't know uh, and we also had ourselves a little picnic in the living room. 
So I hope you all still enjoyed today's little video. It was super fun just to like hang out and relax with you all. Uh, and let me know if you all have a little picnic in your living room. Set up some pillows and blankets and sit in the floor or if you have a hammock, set it up. Just have some fun, something a little different because uh, I feel like that's what I that's what I needed in my life. So uh, I love you all so very much. I'm so proud of who you are as a person and what you do every day. And I will see you all next Wednesday unless I go live before then. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you later. Bye!